Hello friends, today I will talk about the Cherenkov glow which is observed during the launch of a nuclear reactor. This is a rather unusual glow that occurs when a nuclear reactor is started. You can see a lot of videos about this, but I'll tell you the theory why this glow occurs. I'll start with a simple one. This is the law of a refraction of light. When a ray of light passes from one medium to another, it is refracted. The reason for refraction is that the speed of light in the medium becomes less than, for example, in a vacuum. The ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence of the sine of the angle of refraction is a constant value which is expressed by the ratio of the velocities and is called refractive index. The refractive index can be absolute and relative. If light passes from a vacuum to a medium, then its velocity in the medium will always be less than in a vacuum. It is considered that the maximum speed of light in a vacuum Let's consider the motion of a charged particle. In the classical theory of electrodynamics, uh, it is assumed that only an accelerated charged particle can emit light while in a vacuum. But a Cherenkov glove is formed when a charged particle moves at a constant speed. And we got a contradiction, isn't that right? In fact, there is no contradiction. The statement of the classical theory of electrodynamics that only an accelerated charged particle emits light are valid only for a vacuum. The Cherenkov globe does not occur in a vacuum, but occurs in a medium, and under the condition that the velocity of a charged particle in the medium is greater than the speed of light in this medium. Let's try to prove this taking into account the fact that a charged particle at each point of its trajectory emits electromagnetic waves in the medium. Suppose that the particle moves along the z-axis. First it was at point A and then at point B. Let's find the stroke difference of delta L. The stroke difference will be determined by this expression. C divided by N is the speed of light in a given medium. By simple mathematical transformation you will get this formula. If you are having difficulties which much uh, I can explain in more detail. In any case you will see this note or in my Facebook or Instagram. And now, if you apply the Huygens Fresnel principle for the interference maximum, you will determine the angle or cosine of the Cherenkov radiation angle, which takes place uh, if the velocity of a charged particle in some medium is greater than the speed of light in this medium. This is the main condition for the appearance of the Cherenkov glow. If the speed of the particle is greater than the speed of light in a given medium, that we get the envelope of light front. If the speed of a charged particle is less than the speed of light in the uh, given medium, then we will not have an envelope. A similar formula for the cosine of an angle can be obtained from a quantum physics. Suppose then when a particle moves, a wave is emitted at a certain points. We can write down the law on conservation of momentum and the law on conservation of energy for this case. Look at this. Solving the system of equation, you will get this answer. The second term has a very small value which are comparable to the de Broglie wavelength. You can even find the Cherenkov radiation energy if you use this formula, which will require you to have very good mathematical knowledge. That's all for now. 
Thank you for your attention. Write comments and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. Sincerely, Yuri Kovalin.